There are a few tells between someone being magnetic and someone being repelling in social situations. So I'm gonna share the list of like 10 things that make you look weak, insecure, or just repelling when you're networking at parties, at dinners, work. Number one thing that makes you look weak or almost like self disenfranchises is that you're talking too much. The person that is talking the most, unless they are the expert or the guest of honor, is the most insecure person at the table. They and not only that, but you are the worst dinner party guest. Like you're the worst person to network with because you are not actively listening. You are missing opportunities to learn, to make money, to hear what the other person is interested in. Secondly, everyone knows the power dynamics in a room. Everyone knows who the most powerful player or the person that everyone wants social clout for, whatever is who they know who that is in the room. And if you are eager to impress that person, it means that you are almost selling out your own self. It almost confirms the status hierarchy that you are less than them. So if you're like rushing to get them a drink, rushing to sit next to them, rushing to talk to them, you look lame. Self hedging, I'm not putting just. Stop putting little, stop putting if you don't mind, stop saying sorry, that disenfranchises whatever you're saying. I also learned at a leadership conference, stop saying, well, if I'm gonna be transparent, that means that you're not transparent in other times. Stop saying all of those filter words. What really grinds my gears, and I think is such a tell of you being insecure, is when you are not anchored, when you are anxious, when you are just like flitting about the room, you can't sit still, you can't sit in your own energy, you're fidgeting, you're moving. Be anchored in your energy and allow people to gravitate towards you. You don't need to seek out everyone in the room. Being a hater is like the number one tell that you are insecure. If you're hating on everyone's outfit, if you're hating on the host, if you're hating on how the table is set, if you're hating on the speaker, you're a hater and you are insecure. That makes you look weak. Don't be a part of the cleanup crew. If you are someone who is important, who is successful, you have places to be. I, there is nothing more disorienting than seeing someone who is really successful stay till like last call of the event. And another aside on that, if you are speaking at an event or like the guest of honor, not only should you not like stick around until like the end end, but you should have your transport waiting for you. So as soon as you get off stage or as soon as your like paid moment is over, you're being whisked away into the car. Being self-deprecating, like once or twice is fine, but if you are constantly making fun of yourself, it's weird. It seems like you're fishing for compliments. Stop doing it. And then I kind of already hit on these two, but forcing the spotlight versus allowing it come to you, like don't take up so much space or don't insert yourself. People who are naturally confident, people who people naturally gravitate towards, they don't force it. People gravitate towards them on their own.